Hey everybody, this is Jerry from The Broken Seal, and today we're going to be looking at Flesh and Blood, Crucible of War. I got a little overzealous and started opening this and then remembered, hey, that's right, I'm recording. So, stopped. <laughs> um, I actually debated on whether or not I would open these. Um, I am just doing the cards for actual genuine play purpose. Um, I don't, I mean, you know, if there's cards that I get that I have no real desire to use because I don't like the class or I don't like the card, then yeah, but... Um, so collecting slash play value is my number one concern. And I actually wanted the cards from out of here. So ultimately I decided might as well just go ahead and open it. Um, because I would get more enjoyment out of that than having the extra money from selling it and then not being able to get the product from this unless I bought the specific ones I wanted. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. And we're going to dive on in. So our first six done, um, no real shockers out the gate. Um, I got an Ira, which was nice. Um, two of the weapons that came out with this pack and rares, but nothing above that. Um, and we'll see if I can remember to do this or not, but I'm put tokens over here. I guess I should have put this over here then. Tokens. Heroes, uh, weapons, rares, hollows, commons, uh, generic commons, and then class commons down here. Or class commons down here. All right. So with our second set of six, uh, we got four mythic. I really should learn what the M is. Majestic. So we got four majestics, um, generic, warrior, wizard, and mechanologist. Um, I got the merchant. 
and then I got one special weapon, or one weapon unique to this pack, rather. Um, so, going pretty good. Alright, so we got three more Mystic, and one of our rares was the Saber, but it is a Cold Foil, I believe. So, uh, let's see, does that show up? Not really, but it looks really cool, because it's just the Saber itself and the artwork, or the border around the guard, so. That's awesome. Down to the final pack. All right, so that is all of them. Uh, out of all the packs, I got the new brute, uh, new warrior, the the merchant, and a couple of mystics. So, and the weapons. Um, the only thing that I was really looking for was the. Technically, Ira is another ninja, but I was looking for the ninja that was specific to this pack. Not you know Ira you can get in the welcome deck, which. I was lucky enough to get so I've got one more pack and we'll see if we can get them or not hopefully you guys like this and like comment or subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time bye and these are our above rares which we didn't even get like a super rare which is rares and mythic mystic um, which, granted, I'll have to look in to see if they're what, you know, the card breakdown was for this deck, but, or set, but, um, I do like that I got a hollow absorption dome, as well as a hollow rattle bone, so. Cool, cool. Hey, quick, uh, update. I opened up my second pack, and I was able to get these Mystic. Um, out of the two packs, I... Out of the two packs that I opened, I was able to get all of the heroes except for, well, I don't know, I should, I should have said it uh, differently. I was able to get everyone except Benji, um, KO for the uh, Brute, and Data Doll for the Mechanologist. But luckily I was able to find them online, so considering the fact that Flesh and Blood, or rather Crucible War won't have any more, I just went ahead and ordered them. Um, 
my philosophy for the other sets is going to be, you know, I get what I get. I can trade for ones that I don't need or don't have rather for things that I don't need. Um, but 